is now the world's biggest buyer of gold after passing India. Now, despite that milestone, Chinese consumers are buying less of the precious metal, even with gold prices hitting a four-year low last week. Mi Jiayi reports. This woman says she's just shopping for a gift for a friend's newborn grandchild at a Shanghai jewelry store. She has also invested in gold, but not today. And while she's aware of the recent price drop, she says she's not tempted to continue buying for herself right now because she's uncertain about the future. The price is so unpredictable at the moment. It's like the weather getting warm in winter but cold in summer. There are too many changes happening. It's confusing and difficult to make decisions. In just 10 days during April 2013, Chinese investors bought 300 tons of gold. At the time, it was selling for around 1,330 US dollars an ounce. The price has dropped since then, but the demand for gold has not gone up. The China Gold Association says Chinese customers bought more than 750 tons of gold between January and September this year, a more than 21 percent drop from last year. Of course, the current demand can be compared with that during the Chinese Dama gold rush last year. Customers now are generally more rational when making purchase or investment decisions. But with gold falling to 1,145 U.S. dollars announced last week, gold products still appeal to many Chinese customers looking either for investment opportunities or gifts for themselves or others. Because the unit price is relatively low at the moment, customers are inclined to purchase more gold in each transaction. For example, a customer may originally want to buy 30 grams of gold, but if she thinks the price is good, she will increase the purchase to 50 or 60 grams. Analysts say the drop in gold prices over the past two years is mostly due to the gradual recovery of the U.S. economy and the U.S. Federal Reserve facing out its quantitative easing program. The increasing strength of the U.S. dollar in the past six months has led to further price drops. But there is good news for investors. We believe much risk has been released after the recent gold price drop of more than 100 U.S. dollars per ounce. And we predict that the gold price will be more stable in the next couple of months. Liu says he expects the stronger demand for gold in the next couple of months will boost sales. And he says now that gold is selling for less than 1,200 U.S. dollars per ounce, the timing is right for long-term investors to buy it now, because from a cost point of view, it is unlikely that the price will fall much further. Mi Jiayi, ICS for CCTV, Shanghai.